There is one quarterback in this year's NFL draft who I feel is being completely overlooked. Ryan Finley is legit and is being severely underrated. It's Mitch here of The Bottom Line View here to tell you why Ryan Finley is the most underrated quarterback in this year's NFL draft. Before I give you my reasoning behind my love for Ryan Finley, Gronk spike the like button, subscribe to The Bottom Line View for more NFL, and comment your thoughts on Ryan Finley below. Am I right? Is he underrated? Or am I just crazy? The first thing people need to understand about Ryan Finley is he wasn't given anything for free. He did not run a great system at NC State where he threw five yard outs all game. And number two, his wide receivers could not get any separation, meaning a lot of throws for Ryan were in tight windows, tight NFL windows. Often in college football, quarterbacks look better than they are because of their teammates or possibly because of their scheme. At NC State, Finley made his teammates and his coaches look good. Thanks to Finley, NC State, despite a lack of complexity on offense and a lack of open receivers on any given play, still was able to complete some absurd passes due to his incredible ball placement. No, Ryan Finley is not athletically gifted like Kyler Murray. He doesn't have the rocket arm of Drew Locke or the size of Dwayne Haskins, but Ryan Finley has traits that transfer to big time success in the NFL. And what are those traits you ask? Touch, accuracy, anticipation, and pocket presence. In terms of touch, Ryan Finley is right there with Kyler Murray. He just knows the exact amount of air to put on the football. He easily throws the best goal line fade of anyone in this entire class. Mitch, what's the big deal? He can throw a fade that doesn't even really matter. Well, when you combine the quality of touch that he has with his pinpoint accuracy and ball placement, you have a quarterback who can play with any kind of wide receiver. Even without elite arm strength, his comebacks and his back shoulder throws are by far the best that I saw from any of the other quarterbacks. Give him a wide receiver in the Alshon Jeffrey mold and you could have something very special. In fact, Finley actually threw the most yards in the intermediate range in college football during the 2018 season, according to Pro Football Focus. The NFL is all about tight windows and throwing wide receivers open. That's exactly the strong suit of Ryan Finley. Have you noticed there are quite a few quarterbacks in this class with funky, inconsistent throwing motions? Well, Ryan Finley, he's not one of them. Finley has a very smooth release and a consistent throwing motion. Understanding how to move within the pocket, it's the difference a lot of times in the NFL between a big play for the offense and a sack or a strip fumble. Ryan Finley has great instincts inside the pocket and a knack for making the right decision when facing pressure. You don't have to be fast to do this either. Look at Tom Brady. Finley is great at these little subtle movements to avoid incoming rushers. He's also sneaky good at throwing the ball on the run. You would be surprised how many times he had to extend the play at NC State. This feel for the game and his offense is evident in more than just the pocket. He has this ability to anticipate where his receivers are going to be because he's very intelligent. He makes the right decision. So he's going to deliver the football on time where the receiver is supposed to be on the route. Rather, it's going to be complete to a receiver where only he can get it or it's going to be incomplete. Am I saying Ryan Finley is a guaranteed lock to be a great quarterback? No, I'm not. 
He's not the next Tom Brady. I'm saying he deserves more credit and more respect. He clearly can ball and he has some skills that a lot of these other guys simply don't have. And while fans are pining over Daniel Jones and Will Greer, I'll take Ryan Finley every single time. What do you think? Is Finley underrated or am I crazy? Let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe to the Bottom Line View for more NFL. It's been Mitch. Peace.